to my channel. Today I am going to clean my hood range filter and if you've never done this before, maybe you don't know that you should be doing this every month. So it is nice and gross right now and I thought I would show you exactly how I do it. It's super, super simple. All you're going to need to do this is baking soda, dish soap, my two favorites, boiling hot water, and then um, a sponge, but you want one that's not going to scratch your stainless steel. If you have stainless steel, a nice gentle one. So let me show you the before and then we'll jump right into it. So here is the hood range. If you want to learn how to clean your stove and your oven, I have a different video for that, but we are just gonna focus on this baby right here. So you can see there is a lot, a lot of buildup on all three of the filters and this is a task that I avoid. It's super simple but um, it does take a little bit of time so I'm going to take you through exactly how I do it now. of cobwebs and a bunch of stuff in there so I'm just gonna get the vacuum to vacuum that out. to do my first filter here. I just used soap and water and I just scrubbed with the sponge and used boiling hot water if there were any areas that were really tricky. But you'll see on mine that there's actually screws on both sides and I could take off this top part and clean both sides of the filter if it had been a while. If you're doing this every month, it really shouldn't be a huge build up. It should just be a quick wash and rinse. But that is always an option to unscrew and do that. Now I'm going to show you on the second one what I would do if it's really been a while since you've done this and we'll do kind of a comparison of this is like stage one. If this doesn't work then try this next step and it should work a lot a lot better on your tougher greasier things. Okay, I've just popped in the clean one and look at that comparison. All of that grease, all of that buildup just came off so nicely. And you can also just use a little bit of stainless steel cleaner once you pop it back in just to shine it up a little bit more. But I'm very happy about how that turned out.
So that is it. My hood range and the filters are completely clean and I hope one of those two methods of cleaning helps you and I hope this inspired you to tackle this off of your home to-do list. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.